Hello everyone. So the Alta rig has been out for a while now and that's the land-based oil platform. And now we're going to see how we can adapt it on the ocean going oil platform. Obviously it's going to need some changes. It's uh, much bigger here than the land-based one and it requires some different systems. So let's see what we can do. Now the first thing that I want to point out is that obviously when we spawn the Alta rig here, it's only a fraction of the size. We can fit six of them on this. Now I don't know if there's an advantage to having six individual uh, oil drills going at once, if that gets you more oil, presumably it would, but I don't know if the mechanics allow you to tap it twice or tap the oil reserve twice or multiple times. So we're going to tap this and see. So follow along. Now, obviously this one's way smaller and I've been doing some research and wanting to take some inspiration from actual oil platforms. So we'll start from scratch and uh, this part will most likely be fast forwarded as I create something and then we will get back to the actual design of the interface. So follow along. So to some basic degree, we got the Alta rig optimized for the platform. Now, don't worry, we're going to do tons of changes. It's not going to stay like this. It makes no sense. But at least now it looks like it should be here, at least to a basic degree. Now, what I'm going to predict that we're going to have to do or that we're going to do anyways, is this base camp building is ridiculously small for a oil platform this large. So it's gonna be split into a work control area. So this first floor will probably stay here, but then the accommodations are gonna be moved. That helicopter for sure will not be there because now we have the space to put a massive helicopter. We're going to put some type of uh, distillation center off to one side so even the distillation tanks can probably be over there it's same with the reservoirs that we have the storage tanks can be all on one side now for these guys the rods the rod wall in theory works but what i don't like it about it is that um well not only is it cramped and it's only 10 of them but I feel like we could for sure optimize this, make the wall longer. And now we have the space to actually do something a little more creative, maybe have a, even a forklift 
or a system that brings the rods. Now this little thing, this is only our one, one uh, generator unit. So that's the cont one. Now what we'd want is our cont four, which is this huge one. So in the context, this is how much bigger it is. There's four generators in there instead of one. We're for sure gonna have at least one of these, if not two, so the small one we probably don't need. We're not gonna have it here either. We're gonna have it off to the side somewhere. Now this whole accommodation building, like I said, we're most likely just gonna scrap the whole thing. It's optimized and cute and small for the uh, land-based platform, but it makes no sense here. And in fact, we're going to do something much better and bigger here. So I feel like almost right away we could just scrap all of that and then just move some of this stuff around. Now, the what we have to address is the fact that now we no longer have the wellhead positioned at the base. So what we're going to have to do and what I can almost foresee and what I saw others do, in fact, is they had a system that actually moves up and down. So we have this um, swivel or whatever this thing's called, rotary table right here. I feel like the rotary table system may have to be moved about halfway down here under the platform. And then we're gonna add a system that drops the uh, wellhead down on four winches. That's what I saw others do, and I, I've been logically thinking, I mean, the winch system makes the most sense because then it goes straight down. Now, because we do have access to build all the way down here, pretty much into the water, if I recall. Let's see. Oh yeah, right under right into the water. So, what I'm going to do is even have a little boat launch down here. We're going to have a life raft that can deploy up here and kind of drops down. But I want to have ladders with a boat launch down here, maybe a little boat garage and a mini sub. Now that's only for observation, but it'll give you something to do. So we're going to actually fill the bottom of this area with more things. Now, to not make it laggy, I like to always optimize things. So I feel like we don't have to put a bunch of base camp buildings or whatever but i do think that it's worthwhile to put maybe this type of helicopter like a nice big um supply helicopter nice fat cat on a big uh elevated platform or helicopter pad over here maybe and then our base camp building will be to this side and underneath it so this is gonna imagine i i'm imagining something like this and then on the far end so we're gonna keep the general call it uh layouts of our small alter rig and kind of just beef it up like crazy here i may try with two wellheads just because we have all the space and i'll see how that goes let me know in the comments actually that's something that some of you may have explored already, if, if we can put two well heads and two swivels, two entire systems, in fact, it may be able to pump out the oil faster, or three or whatever, so maybe we need more. And then, yeah, like I said, this is all aesthetics. Really, we don't need this building for now. And then I'm going to work on making the platform actually look nicer. I have some sources of inspiration. We're going to have ladders down here with some, some sort of a boat launch and um, other equipment area. But yeah, there's, there's a lot to be done and I can't wait to sort of work with you guys on this project. So stay tuned for more, stay tuned for the second part of this. And we're going to make this into a series, just like we did the original alter rigs. So happy stormworksing and catch you guys later.